So today I'm building a customer, a custom back piece for the transom of his boat uh, to put his motor on. So I'm going to just, it's a simple project, I'm just going to show you the step by step in how I do this. I'm going to make sure the end of my material is squared off nice because a lot of the times after one cut, one cut, one cut, they become out of square. So when you're using a square like this, you want to make sure that you're actually following something square to begin with, otherwise it's going to really screw you up. So it's not bad, it needs some clean up. I'll give it a fresh cut anyways. And then I've already marked my 27 width because nothing is going to be bigger than 27 inches wide. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then my longest piece is going to be 18 and a half inches. Let me open that line. And I still have a low level of trust on squares sometimes. So I always like to mark the top and bottom or like at least two points in every marks and all of the marks that I make in order to make sure that I'm going to be as close as possibly, as close as possible on all my measurements here. and then just keep measuring and cutting and measuring and cutting until I have all the pieces. So I don't know if anybody's used these, uh, these blades on uh, their skill saws before. They're amazing blades. They cut this aluminum like butter. They're awesome, but they're also very messy, very loud. So when I use these, I mean, sometimes I can be a little here and there on, you know, being outside in the sun and you want to wear some lower cut shoes. I would wear proper shoes, proper shirt, like cut up right to my neck because those pieces of aluminum, as they fly off, they will burn your skin instantly. So I'm going to full dress up and get to cutting. And get flat for this. Double whammy. So I know everybody marks out their things differently. So if I ever have someone working with me, I always have to say cut on, on the line, on the right side, on the left side. And so the way I always do it is I leave the line on the piece that I'm keeping. So I like to be able to see the line so that in the case that something gets moved, I still am able to see my Sharpie line in order to make sure that I always have a straight line. Just a little tip. So the last piece that I'm cutting only needs to be an inch and three quarter inches wide. So my little trick that I learned from the old boys back when I first started work was handy handy try square. So you set it to the size you want. I need just an inch and three quarter. So set it just a little bit lower just so I have enough room for my pen line. And then I just hold it up against my straight edge and I run it all the way down holding my pen against the side of the square. Well, it's shading away. And then I just run it all the way down my piece. And then you have a nice consistent line without having to use like a big long square measure, measure, measure. You know that you're getting exactly an inch and three quarters all the way along. So. so now I have my three pieces cut that I need all ready to go. But what I need to do because it drives me so crazy is clean all this up. This is three cuts with that saw and unfortunately I don't get to use this magnet. This is a, a metal sweeper. Aluminum is non-magnetic so out with the broom I go to clean this up before I prep all these pieces for welding. So for this transom piece, I'm closing in the entire top. Let me show you that picture. 
So this top piece, I want to keep it as one piece. So I want to put a bend here and a bend here and then have it come down straight edge down on the edges of the other pieces. So I've cut my piece to the size that I need it and then I don't have a big break. I do, but it's not good enough for a 3 16 But the uh, bender that I've built my hitch attachment for, for the back of my truck, that will bend a shorter piece and it'll, build, it'll be able to bend the 3 16 thickness. So I'm gonna take my center line because it's, it's 15 inches in the top and it's gonna span out to 27 inches. So I'm going to measure 15, 15 inches out from that center line and then it'll give me my measurements that I need. And so I'll just take my angle finder, draw up the angle that I need to get for that, and then go bend that in the back of my truck. Okay, so I have all my pieces cut for this transit piece, and now I have bent my center piece and I have it sitting here exactly where I want it to be. So I'm going to tack it all into place, put the top on, clamp it together and weld it up solid. Lovely. That's good so far. Give me show you guys what it looks like. So, flip this around. It might help. Okay, so I need to clean up my edges and peel off the plastic. But this, to me, is a pretty ideal fit. Once I clean it up, it'll make for a perfect tight weld in there. And then all the lines match up. Okay, so I did clean up, you can't tell, because I had more stuff to cut, but that's okay. Um, but I have the centerpiece tacked in, and I'm putting these pieces in here, because I don't have anything that's an inch and three quarters, and I need to have that uh, consistent throughout the whole piece. So I'm going to leave this on here, and I'm going to clamp everything to the table and clamp the top piece on. But then I'll have this to keep my measurements exactly as they should be. It fits lovely. So I'm going to clamp all this down real tight to the table. Correct my clamps. And then weld it up while this is clamped in. So nothing moves, nothing budges. All my measurements are exactly as they should be. one side I have flipped over the piece I have all my tacks are actually on the inside of this if you can see it there so it's fully welded on the bottom side now flipped over and I've reclamped it I didn't need to do the outside because it's tacked on the inside so I'm just clamping the two ends here and here and then now I'm gonna weld the rest of it and clean it up and get this guy's boat going for him So I am all done the welding here, lost my bandana and got this great hairdo in the process of it, but I everything's all done now so I can take off these clamps here, take this guy off, take this guy off, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, it's still a little warm, so before it starts springing back on me, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a second before I take off all the clamps, but once I do that I'm going to clean up the piece and you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the weld so I don't have to do too much for those guys. Finally have my machine running good, so that's good. So yeah, just a couple, get a couple of the burrs off and stuff on the end and clean up some of the sharpie marks that I have on there. 
and then get this to my buddy and get his boat out on the water. So hopefully it all works out good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's something that you're looking at building or questions you have or you want to see how I build something, then shoot me a message. I'd love to find some different ideas of things to build. Hope you guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.